Are you one of those players that has stayed away from playing Path of Exile because you've heard all the naysayers explain why Path of Exile is so difficult to play, the learning curve, the spreadsheets, you need a PhD, yada, yada, yada. Is that you? Do you listen to other people prior to trying something yourself? Well, in this video, I'm gonna try to inform you and convince you, or at least at a bare minimum, educate you on why you should try Path of Exile. Now, before I get into my little story time about Path of Exile, a lot of you continue to watch my content, but you do not subscribe to my channel. If you can find it in your heart to hit the subscription button, I would really appreciate the support of my content. All right. I'm going to try to spend the next couple of minutes. This is going to be a short one, guys. Cut. Well, I take that back. It's not going to be short. I'm going to spend a little time on explaining to you my journey in Path of Exile and why I believe there's no reason why you can't go down the same journey. All right, let's get into it. Some of the constant themes that new players, players that haven't tried Path of Exile, some of the things that they hear about the game is the fact that you need to invest a lot of time into Path of Exile if you really want to enjoy the whole 100% of the content. True. A lot of people would also hear the fact that you need a PhD regarding the crafting, how to earn currency. True, there are a lot of external websites involved and multiple spreadsheets, and you got to keep track of this and that if you really want to manage your build, your damage, and all that kind of stuff. True, you need a master's degree in order to fully encapsulate what it takes to be able to craft end game gear. True. Now, some of you are thinking, what the hell, Sammy? You started off this video saying you're you're gonna convince us to try Path of Exile if we're on the fence or we're looking for a new game to play and all you're spewing and confirming is the fact that everything we're hearing is true. Well, yes, everything you're hearing is true. However, don't let it stop you from moving forward and trying the game yourself. And now this is the part where I'm going to share with you my journey with Path of Exile. And I've put this in other videos of mine. So for those of you that watch all my videos, apologies, you've already heard this and you know the background here. Uh, but for the new people listening and watching right now, my journey with Path of Exile is probably, I've been where you are right now if you haven't played Path of Exile. You wanted to play it, but because of all the things I just said, you're not trying it. I, that was me. That was me prior to Path of Exile 3.21, the Crucible League. Prior to that league, I was him and Han. I was in between games. I was kind of bored. I, I was looking for a new game and Path of Exile popped into my head like it always did for many years prior to that. But because of all the reasons I outlined, that kept me away from Path of Exile. But prior to 3.21 Crucible League, I said, F it. I'm going to go. I'm going to try it. I keep hearing so many good things about it. And if I don't like it, I don't like it. If it's too much of a time investment, whatever, right? Anyway, five leagues later, we are now in the Settlers of Kalgor, sorry. And every league from the Crucible League to the current league, I have taken a little piece of knowledge throughout this journey. And now, I'm still a beginner. I have maybe a couple hundred hours in Path of Exile. However, Every league, I learn something new and I'm getting better and better. I am far, far from a good Path of Exile player. My knowledge is like a one out of 10. However, this league 3.25, I'm having the time of my life. It really is so enjoyable. So the point of this video is the following. You don't need a PhD to fully enjoy this game. 
You don't have to have a thousand spreadsheets to track your damage and track whatever you want to track because there are build guides out there that you can use to hold your hand and play this game. There's actually guides that will literally spoon feed you the information, how to craft, what kind of maps to run, all this kind of information. So there is information out there to help you play this game. And in reference to you need a million hours every day to play this game, I have the following comment. Now, I'm a content creator and a streamer, and I get to play video games just about every day, five, six, seven, eight hours, sometimes only four. It varies depending on what's happening in real life. But so I would say I'm a little bit above the casual player, okay? I would say I'm a mid hardcore try hard, okay? And I have not mastered Path of Exile. I haven't, it's been five leagues and actually one league I skipped completely and some leagues I literally just played not even a week, but that was because of IRL. But my point is think of Path of Exile as a game that is a buffet. And if the pure enjoyment of the game 100% was to try every single dish on that buffet, well, let's just say as a new player, you don't have to eat every single dish that's in that buffet. You can try and work your way up to the main course if that's what you want. Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. My point is you can take out of the game what you can take out of it. And I said this in a previous video. If you like just to level up characters, then just level up a character. The campaign, it's fun. It doesn't take a thousand hours to do all 10 acts in Path of Exile. Maybe you just want to try all the different classes and all the different builds and that's it. Good. Maybe you want to do a little bit more. Great. After you finish the campaign, you start doing maps. Well, start doing the lower tier maps. Well, you, you have no choice. That's where you start. But my point is you don't have to, in order to enjoy the game, you only will enjoy it when you get to tier 16 and tier 17 maps. That's where you'll maximize the returns. That's where you'll maximize the gear. Yes, valid. I'm not saying that. But my point is take out of it what you want out of a game. And believe me, you will enjoy this game. It has a lot to offer. Yes, it's difficult. Yes, learning curves are steep. Yes, it requires external websites. Yes, if you are someone that likes to dot their I's and cross their T's, you're probably going to have some spreadsheets. I don't, but that might be you. So all the rumors are true, but it shouldn't stop you from trying to enjoy this great game. And my final comment is this. A lot of you ask yourself this following question, and this is the one that might tip you over the edge to try it. Are you going to play Path of Exile 2? I bet you a lot of you are. Because everything I'm reading and all the forums I'm going on and Reddit, I don't know too many people that like ARPGs that are not going to be playing PoE 2. So if the answer to that question is, yeah, hell yeah, I can't wait for PoE 2 to come out. Well, don't you think you should go into that a little bit informed with a little bit of knowledge, a little bit of experience of what Grinding Gear Games does with their game? There are things from PoE that are going to be in PoE 2. Now, the two are going to be different, granted. However, there are mechanics and stuff in Path of Exile that's going to be in PoE 2. And wouldn't you want to be knowledgeable in that? So this way, when you go into PoE 2, 
you're like, oh, heck, I remember that. Great. I know how to do that. So my point is you have nothing to lose but your time. And it's a choice. A lot of people stay away from Path of Exile because ah, I'm not going to be good at the game for all the reasons I outlined in the past segment. Well, it's a choice, guys. Being bad is a choice. Being not playing Path of Exile is a choice. You're making the choice not to enjoy this game. And when you hit roadblocks in Path of Exile, so what? You're making the choice to quit or not play the game because if you put the effort in, the game will reward you 10 times forward to you. So you're making the choice not to play the game and you're making the choice not to enjoy the game because full transparency, if this video convinces you to play Path of Exile, you are gonna hit walls. Your character is gonna suck maybe. You are gonna die a gazillion times maybe. So it's choice. When you hit that wall, are you gonna turn around and walk out the door and quit? Or are you gonna be forced to learn the game? And I was forced to learn it in this league now again, I don't know everything, but I learned a lot from the, the pitfalls that I had in every league. But in this league, I had it a couple of times because I've leveled up two characters and both of them hit walls. Now, I could have backed up and ran away and never played Path of Exile again, but I chose not to. Why? Because I want to learn and I'm not a quitter. I'm not saying you're a quitter by not playing Path of Exile. Please don't take me literally. My point is, give it a try. You have nothing to lose but your time. Now, if your time is super valuable and you know you're not going to like it, then there's nothing I'm going to say that's going to convince you. But if you're in between games and you're not enjoying the games you're playing or you're not playing anymore because you don't have anything you like, Give Path of XL a try. It's free, $20, $30, $40 investment for some stash tabs to make it a more pleasurable experience. And you're off to the races. You're good. You're set. You don't have to invest another penny. Just set up your stash tabs, like I said, under 50 bucks, and you're good to go. That's it. Give it a try. You got nothing to lose. I'm telling you, you're going to like it. And you are going to have a problem. Your problem is going to be, you're not going to be able to put the game away. Anyway, let me know what you think about this video. Am I uh, off my rocker? And sorry, uh, I'm not being paid for this. No, this isn't, someone isn't paying me to say this. This is me just enjoying a game and sharing it with my community. And a lot of people from my community have jumped on and they're liking it. And whoever comes across this, whether Google recommend, uh, YouTube recommends it or not, uh, maybe I can convince another, a couple of other people that would be awesome because I want people to know that there's a great game out there and you could be enjoying it too. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think. And again, guys, no game is perfect. I'm not saying this game is perfect, okay? I'm just saying I'm, I, I bet a dollar that you're going to like this game. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. I would love, love to hear your comment. All right. And by the way, come and check me out every evening on Twitch. Channel name is Sammy Caps. We're live streaming, of course, Path of Exile. We are in maps. We're in the mid tiers. I think we're at uh, tier seven. And the town is humming. I just got the town map. So I got people farming maps while I'm sleeping. Who would have thunk it? Anyway, come check me out on Twitch, Sammy Caps. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. And as always, hope to see you next time. Take care, everyone. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.